Okay, so today for all you chemistry and soccer enthusiasts, we have the Buckyball discovered by Buck Minister Fuller a long, long time ago. Now, it's actually just a soccer ball. That's all a Buckyball is. Pentagons surrounded by hexagons in 3D space, so it looks like a sphere. So you can kick it straight. Now, chemistry applications. If we took 60 carbon atoms and we bound them tightly together, it would assume the shape of a Buckyball. Now, you're probably wondering, Brian, that's absurd. When on Earth will I have 60 carbon atoms at my disposal? If you just take a candle, you light it, the soot from the candle will actually have buckyballs in it. They've observed that. And also, in interstellar space, they've observed buckyballs. And scientists predict that shortly after the Big Bang, buckyballs were floating around in our universe, which is awesome. And it looks awesome. It's artistic. Everyone thinks it's wicked. And you can hang it on a Christmas tree, give it to a friend, whatever. We're here to show you how it relates back to your math curriculum and how it relates back to special triangles when we have to build it. So we hope that you enjoy the next few videos, learn some math, and then you can go home and build this awesome, awesome shape. And then you connect the top left corner to the middle crease, the crease where you folded it in half. Be careful, you want to make sure your paper folding is more exact.